Hello, good morning. I'm Manuel Castro. I'm full professor at UNED. And we will have a, an interview about the, the importance and the supporting and enabling industry for the zero from the university, from the UNED in this case. As I told you, I'm Manuel Castro. We work in the UNED. UNED is the Spanish University for Distance Education. And we will talk during this interview about the new issues of the Industry 4.0 that has having this kind of, uh, of impact in every place. I work in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. I'm full professor and director of the department. And one of our main point of research is the Industry 4.0, following off the line of the enabling technologies like uh, remote laboratories, remote sensors, in, uh, Internet of Things, Internet of energy, of energy, and all the things that are remanding in this case. The first question of this uh, interview is, uh, what is the UNED and University Strategy for Industry 4.0? This is a very important uh, topic. Uh, this is a topic uh, of interest, of, of really high impact in this moment, and mainly in this moment of, of COVID-19 and of the, all the things regarding the pandemic. And the major part of the things is, in our case, is, is, is focusing on the engineering education and the technologies. This kind of research in technologies on engineering education, as you can see, is part of the, of the daily activities uh, inside the, the, the UNED and the university. The strategy we have is to be updated, of course, to continue our work with the companies, with the SMEs, with the small and, and medium enterprises, and all the things regarding this kind of a lot of new enabled technologies there. The technology is the key. The social part of our university is the, is the main aspect and the main target of this, of this information, on these important things. And we have in mind that this kind of technologies will be the future. And the future in the university is the present, because we have to be with this future there. In this area, the smart lining, for example, as you can see, is the ubiquitous technologies, all the things regarding the mobile applications and the APPs, and mainly regarding with the manufacturing area, industry for the series for manufacturing, but it's for the social part and the living part of the people, the smart uh, houses, the smart cities, the smart world is the future in this case too. And the UNED and the university is really uh, oriented with this kind of a strategy for the next years. Following the, this interview, we'll talk about uh, how industry for the zero could improve UNED and the university. This is really important because the, we have two different areas of improvement in this case with the industry for the zero. First one is for internal procedures, and second one is for external ones. In this case, all the things regarding factories, regarding communications, regarding cybersecurity, and of course, regarding all the areas of the activities there, like uh, the new productivity sectors of the new relations with the citizens, are really important there. All the cybersecurity is one key part of this enabling te technologies because as much as we are con connected, as, well, as much as we are open, of course, the cybersecurity and the security attacks are really important there. The, the living activities there, of course, are really important because uh, all the living things are uh, one of the things that we have to take in mind. And we have to, to, to improve these kind of things in the university inside and, and outside it. And of course, the digital twins. Digital twins is the, is the technology. We are working out a lot of with it because it's the all part of the simulations, the connection with the simulations, the artificial intelligence, and all the machine learning and so on, they are really key technologies that we are using today and will use for the future to have inside the university and outside the university with our, all of our research and oriented activities there. Last part of this interview is how much does it cost to include industry for the zero in the UNED and why we can implement it. Of course, this is uh, a really key issue thing because the costs are really important to be updated and to maintain these kind of things. In general, the costs can be separated into, into size. Some kind of costs are really direct costs, like equipment and going to have a 5G connection instead of 4G, or the new uh, connections in, in high speed internet connections there, or wireless. This is really important, this kind of technology costs. 
And of course, the second part of the cost has to be with the structural updating. We are structurally updating inside UNED, for example, in the area of directions, where our rector make a, a really key uh, components and key uh, decisions to, to separate and to have a new uh, innovation and digitalization uh, by rectorate. We have a technology by rector and we have a research by rector and the three together are implementing all the new things for the future that we have to be in the UNED. In the UNED, of course, we have to update, as I told, the communication activities there, new equipments, this is really expensive, probably we can we have to invest between 10 and 20 million euros for two or three years in, in renewing and updating the, the, the equipments there, but we have to make first all the structural updating there. And the future is smart, as I told you, the, the, the industry for the zero is part of the smart world, and we have in these cases there the smart society, smart education, smart cities and smart home, and the future in this case is smart because we will be all together and all putting connection and this is the really key issue for us, for the relations between the university and the industry and for the work we have to do it with it. Thank you very much and it's a real pleasure to, to be here for this interview for the I4EU, the key competences for an Edu European model of Industry 4.0, Industry 4.0 for European people as part of the Erasmus project and it's a really pleasure to have in this case representing the UNED. Thank you very much.